Hello everyone! In this video, we will show you the best 5 gaming routers for wireless PC VR gaming. After a lot of research, we put together a list of options. We've included links in the description box below for further information on the products, which are constantly updated to ensure the greatest deals. Please leave a comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. We have to conduct a test to determine which routers are the finest. We began our experiment by seeing if a $30 router could match the performance of a $150 gaming router. We used Virtual Desktop to set up both systems. To do so, you'll need a good router and a VR-capable computer. That way, you can play VR games on your headset fully wirelessly, which is a terrific feature that I personally couldn't live without. If you're interested in learning how to set up your virtual desktop, I'll go over it later in the video, so stay tuned. Before I tell you which router is the greatest, let's dig a little more into the subject. As I previously stated, we tested a variety of routers in a variety of price ranges. We tested them out of the box and did not modify any settings. The findings revealed that most cheap $30 routers should be avoided at all costs. The reason I gave it a negative rating was because it had a lot of stuttering and a low network latency, which made it a bad gaming experience. You might wonder why this is happening and how you should go about purchasing a router. Well, we were using a $30 router with Wi-Fi 5. The graphics were terrible, and the game was continuously stuttering. As a result, we recommend avoiding most low-cost routers that employ Wi-Fi 5. If you're on a limited budget, we uncovered one exception, which we'll show you later. Following that, we began testing some Wi-Fi 6 routers, with some of them providing an unbelievable experience. Some of the routers we tested were inexpensive, while others were slightly more expensive and were even recommended by Guy Godin, the man who invented the virtual desktop. Let's get started with our list. The D-Link DIR1260 is the router to choose if you're looking for an economical router that can handle wireless virtual reality gaming. In addition, when compared to other Wi-Fi 5 routers, the DIR1260 comes out on top because it's higher and more consistent outputs. The DIR1260 uses the 802.11 AC Wi-Fi technology, which translates to up to 300 megabits per second in the 2.4 gigahertz band. This gadget can theoretically attain Wi-Fi speeds of up to 867 megabits per second in the near band or 5 gigahertz channel, not to mention the MU-MIMO feature, which allows you to connect several devices simultaneously. In addition, high-power radio amplifiers are used to assist the routing device with coverage. If you're looking for precision, the DIR1260 allows you to cover an area of nearly 1,500 square feet. The smart roaming feature amplifies the wireless signals even further. D-Link also has four strong antennas to aid transmission efficiency. The D-Link app lets you explore an entire gamut of parental controls. Plus, you can use the application to monitor network activities and filter the access depending on your needs. If you are concerned about the pricing of the device, but unwilling to cut down on the features and speeds, the D-Link DIR1260 is the best cheap router for wireless VR to pick. Plus, it is the affordability that helps it beat other products on the list. Next off is the AX5400, a Wi-Fi 6 dual-band gaming router with a transfer rate of up to 5400 megabits per second and exceptional performance over both wired and wireless connections. It has four times the range of a router in the same price range, and it uses Wi-Fi 6 instead of Wi-Fi 5. It's ideal for a network with a lot of devices linked. The AX5400 uses a single aggregation system to connect devices that support speeds of up to 2 gigabits per second and is designed to provide the best coverage possible thanks to the OFMDA system, a Wi-Fi technology that pushes the signal further than other routers with similar features. Despite the fact that this router is in the mid-price range, the ACX5400 has a solid structure with airflow ducts and aluminum heat sinks to keep the temperature low resulting in higher signal stability and performance. The mobile gaming mode, which prioritizes mobile traffic during game sessions, is one of the reasons I chose this router for the list. Anytime you play on a mobile device, like the Oculus Quest 2, latency is kept to a bare minimum. This also works when playing via link or cable, due to the gaming port, which prioritizes transmission to the device connected via cable. 
All of these features together with OpenNet allow you to configure your router to meet your specific needs in only three steps, with everything managed directly from the ASUS router mobile app to optimize the signal for the device you want to use. As previously stated, this is the best option if you want maximum performance at a low to mid-range budget with no issues. As I previously stated, Virtual Desktop is required in order to play wireless on your Oculus Quest 2. It's a wireless, unofficial option with the drawback that reliability varies depending on the user's PC setup. This is how you set it up. To begin, download Virtual Desktop Streamer to your computer. Then, on your VR headset, you'll also need a copy of Virtual Desktop Streamer. After installing the software, Go to the main screen and make sure your Oculus login is put in the text area. Then you're all set to go. Isn't that simple? If this doesn't work, your PC might not be able to operate the software. If you'd like to get that issue resolved, we can help you, so stay tuned. The ROG GTAC 2900 is next, and if you're into PC VR gaming, this is the one for you. Because of AirLink, the ROG GTAC 2900 turns out to be one of the best routers for wireless VR gaming. You may wirelessly connect your VR headset to a Windows 10 PC using AirLink and experience the insane gameplay. If you want to really immerse yourself in virtual reality games, your VR headset will need a lot more than just a high-end routing device. The Asus ROG GTAC 2900 makes the most sense at this time as it comes with gaming accelerators to boost speeds and performance beyond the norm. Furthermore, it achieves higher total speeds than the RTAX 5400, which is also a capable gamer-friendly wireless router. In terms of coverage, you can take your VR headset up to 2,000 square feet and still be connected to the internet. Three high-gain antennas and beamforming capability are also included to improve overall network consistency. A dual-core CPU and 512 megabytes of high-speed RAM power this gaming beast. The current hardware module aids in congestion reduction and offers lag-free gaming experiences. There's also a 256 megabyte flash storage module for efficiently storing network information. In conclusion, the Asus ROG GTAC 2900 is an excellent choice for both wired and wireless gaming, and it's readily available for just 130 bucks. Do you want to buy an AX router but are on a tight budget? You may always go with an appropriate selection like the TP Link Archer AX20, which has a balanced specs sheet and better overall speeds and output when compared to a Wi Fi 5 router. This low cost Wi Fi 6 router has a lot going for it, including 2.4 GHz band speeds of up to 574 megabits per second. If you intend to keep the VR headset close, the 5 GHz or near band speeds of up to 1200 megabits per second will come in handy. The device also includes traffic prioritization, MU-MIMO, and OFDMA support for fast transmissions. The system is powered by a standard 4-core processor with maximum clock speeds of 1.5 GHz. The 512 megabyte RAM module boosts processing capability, significantly lowering VR game latency and lag. This plastic-covered device weighs 1.83 pounds and measures 10.2 by 5.3 by 1.5 inches in size. One USB port and five gigabit ethernet connectors, including a standalone WAN port, are also included. The TP Link Archer AX20 is a wonderful pick if you're seeking the cheapest Wi-Fi 6 router for VR. Its power efficiency also sets it apart from the other products on the list, and all of this for only 90 bucks. Interested in purchasing one of the most advanced routing devices? Well, you can opt for the Netgear Nighthawk RAX45, the perfect choice for multi-gig internet plans. The RAX45 works better than the older R6700AXS in terms of processing power and overall wireless speeds. The RAX45 is a dual-band Wi-Fi 6 wireless router with a combined speed of more than 4 gigabits per second. The 3800 plus megabits per second near band speeds for high resolution gaming and interaction are a plus for this gadget. And with near to 500 megabits per second of distant or 2.4 gigahertz band speeds, connection drops are minimized even while moving around the home. Because of the availability of four high gain antennas, the RAX45 quickly becomes one of my top router choices 
for 2,500 square foot houses. You now receive beam forming support, which substantially improves coverage. The RAX45 comes equipped with a triple core chipset to keep interference at a distance. There's also 512 megabytes of RAM and 256 megabytes of flash memory to completely store device configuration. Not to mention the fact that the included processing setup offers low lags and gaming latency for your VR headset. As a part of the Netgear Armor configuration, this Wi-Fi router includes a complete security package, including anomaly detection, threat blocking, DDoS protection, VPN firewall integration, and more. Plus, Netgear's parental controls are the coolest with configurable kid filters and app-based remote network management capabilities. Overall, if you are a heavy VR user who enjoys gaming and social activities in the metaverse, the Nighthawk RAX45 is the best wireless VR Wi-Fi 6 router money can buy. It also stands out because of its superior processing consortium. For roughly 130 bucks, you can get the RAX45. Well, that's all for now. The products are linked in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Is your PC VR experience not as fluid as it should be? Or is your computer incapable of running the virtual desktop streamer software? If that's the case, you might be interested in watching our following video on gaming laptops for all budgets.